The areas you know, for ISBT to take on um, would be the global expansion. So I think there's a uh, great appetite for you know, the fantastic work that the ISBT does in uh, other markets around the world. So I think there's a white space there for, for, for the ISBT to, to look into and, and further provide uh, benefits to the industry. Uh, my name is Trisha O'Connell and I work with the Global R&D um, with PepsiCo. I'm based in Cork, Ireland. I'm Jörg Zacharias from the Kronos AG out of Neutraling, Germany. My name is Karen Ospina, Vengo de Kuala, de Colombia. Y soy el científico de bebidas líquidas en mi compañía. Uh, the diversity that I see among members, various backgrounds, I think that it's a great way to collaborate. I think networking is the means of progressing for the future. It's a kind of a rare opportunity to get people from all different parts of the beverage world together in one room, so it's a very unique opportunity to network. A veces, dependiendo de en qué país uno se desarrolla, no tienes acceso a mucha de esta información. Entonces, siendo miembro de ISBT, puedes tener ese acceso de tecnologías y de información que ya están siendo aplicadas en otros países, en otras latitudes, y que podrían ser aplicables para nuestra propia región. La sociedad para mí es un lugar donde se comparten todos los conocimientos y es un punto de contacto para aprender mucho más de este negocio. I was in Russia and um, a young engineer at the plant had read one of my papers and had some differences of opinion and we got along fine and are still friends to this day. And that's happened just about every country I work in. Realmente en Colombia nos uh, apegamos mucho a las legislaciones americanas, entonces para eso me siento. The ISPT uh, uh, society is on a good path to develop as a real international society, which is, a, I think, one of the biggest uh, movements I do see in the past years where really an international cooperation between different continents has taken place and it is something where we also are working on to harmonize the work of European organizations and to, together with the ISBT. ISBT is an international organization because we actually hold our uh, meetings in international locations. Not only do we have the international meeting, uh, the first uh, annual meeting here in the United States, but we also have a European meeting and we have a Latin American meeting. For the Latin America event, so we, are, uh, uh, the event is uh, set for uh, October 19 in Mexico City, and in the in Tech Europe, the event will be September 14 in Munich. In 2006, as I joined the ISPT, uh, I moved at the same time also to United States from Germany. So this was a great opportunity in a personal area to get an impression of American way of life and also how things are done differently here. And that's something I would say was very uh, important for me and uh, giving me great experiences which I can use now being back in Europe uh, for introducing, uh, to be getting more global, more international and uh, having different other views uh, in uh, experience which helps me and also our team to get better and also improve things. Pues obviamente una de las ideas que tengo y yo creo que eso la compartimos la mayoría es de que eh, pues la sociedad pueda expandirse y pueda hacerse más grande donde puedes compartir esta experiencia con otras personas y sobre todo con países que eh, especialmente en Latinoamérica no tienen ese acceso a, a la facilidad de la información a la tecnología, pues obviamente creo que eso sería muy bueno que se pudiera expander eh, más hacia esos países, atenderlos más, difundir mayor información y facilitar el acceso a la información a, a, a compañías pequeñas que de repente no tienen las posibilidades de, de acceder directamente o de venir a Estados Unidos a a las conferencias. When I entered ISPT in 2004, I was a completely greenhorn, new to the industry in the U.S. and uh, with all the support of the, of the people I met here, uh, I really can recommend to join the group if you want to be part and not just uh, be an outsider of this industry.